Many times, the Spirit of God has called on many of you now, but you were too busy. In the realm of the Spirit, one hour can make a whole difference. Coming back three hours later and saying, I want to pray now, you might have missed it. Check the story of the Israelites. Moses told them, the spies told them, Numbers 14, bad news about the promised land. And Moses said, yeah, go and fight. They said, we are not fighting. And they were crying. Then Moses told them what God said, that you are still naked people. And they came to Moses the following morning. That one happened yesterday in the evening. When he told them to go, they refused to go. The following morning, they carried sword and they wanted to go. And Moses said, you don't understand. God was available last night. It's no more available. If you go now, you'll be beaten by your enemy. That was within six hours. They lost it. If they fought yesterday, they would have won. Now they wanted to fight and God said, no, you, they couldn't. Many times, there is a serious bite and we are wasting time instead of praying. Right there, right there. I thought there are signals that you should not even go out. Something has happened. You need to sit down again on that bed and start praying. But you have arranged your day and you will not allow anything to shift your schedule. Is that not why the Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found? That means part of prayer, what you should learn is to be sensitive and know how to respond. At times, it looks to me like there is a kind of supernatural power that will be involved if you tackle the issue immediately. There is affliction at work. No sale in the office. Something in the, your business, another, you just incur another loss. Something obvious. Right there, when you are giving the report, right there, just tell everybody to go, switch up, and close the door on yourself. Don't stop when there is still heaviness in your heart. You get to a point in your room. It looks like you, are, you want to cough out that problem out of your mouth. Sometimes what you are experiencing in the spirit, it begins to happen to your body physically. You pray to a point that it's as if there is a heavy matter, a weight in your heart. And afterwards, as if somebody takes the weight off. When that happens, miracles are inevitable. <laughs>